苦难、道德、反省。作者：陈江，《The Gate Church》。风格及人，人的认知如同一面镜子，个人原生的性情与后天的知识环境，形成了这面镜子独特曲面，且持续被时间磨砺和塑造着。这被扭曲镜面映射出的世界，就是你我的观念，并引导出每个个体相应的生命轨迹。托尔斯泰说：“多么伟大的作家，也不过是在书写他的片面而已。”布丰则说：“风格即人。”这扭曲的画面，是否能给人带来反省？呈现在每个人心中，眼前的扭曲世界。是在反正自己人性与认知的扭曲。只有认识并承认自己躯壳里扭曲灵魂的，才有机会寻求并认识真理。真理是照亮世界的光，它不在乎里面的扭曲，是全然的照亮，没有阴影可以躲藏。认识真理的，就是以生命折射这光。机器人。被时代高举的纯粹理性主义者所歌颂的理性光辉，常被拿来居高临下的抚慰失控的灵魂，而人类透过绝对理性所创造的奇迹，最大的诉求是拥有独立的精神世界，但其最终总是被时间摧垮。时间是链接生与死的单行道。却是穿越死亡者的逆行之道。有一股势力在两个世界的角逐，一面是致力于把人塑造成机器，另一面则是要把机器赋予人性。这是个悖论：将活人塑造成死人，将死人打造成活人的样式，是幽暗世界掌权者的目的。让人活着的乃是灵。这就是战国之人口中的那股气息，缺少这气息的人，如行尸走肉，无能为力。因活在时空切片中的世人，最终都将失去。道德，良心是唤醒生命的气息，是道德的隐性，但常被罪恶浇灭。律法是道德的底线，向下突破意味着永死。向上则可以摸着永生。道德并非道德行为的堆砌，不可被刻意塑造。它是生命长成的样式，是来自母体的羊水，是苦难中的重生。没有道德根基的律法，形同虚设。不以追求超越律法之道德为目的的律法，毫无价值。道德是永恒投射在人生命中的影子，是有形质世界向万有以上无形的致敬。苦难、罪恶的世界是造物主允许众人为自己设立的斗兽场。苦难是穿越罪恶的路径，是进入安息的前奏。灵魂在苦难的肉体中挣扎穿行。以死亡为跳跃罪恶的边界，苦难是生命的课堂，灵魂的教鞭，直至成为不服管教悖逆者的牢房，成为沉沦者的绞刑架。管教者借着苦难把戒尺摆在众人面前，使人在惧怕中看到创造主的尺度，反省那早已存于内心的至高的秩序。苦难也是反省者的仓房，是前进之人的祭坛，鹰的翅膀，是托起生命飞往永恒的伤。反省者的思想，没有什么思想比反省更加深刻，其他任何深刻只相对于肤浅而言，但在肤浅面前，深刻与否其实毫无意义。当面对同样的深邃时，也就更无所谓深刻了。对深刻的渴求，只是思想者摆脱自己的肤浅的尝试罢了。没有反省的思想，无论如何深刻，都是肤浅的。人因为肤浅，才越发喜爱深刻。只有深刻，才能领会到肤浅的价值。这并非终点
只是思想的驿站，它将帮助我们向更深处进发。没有人会自带光芒，我们不过是一面折射世界的镜子，等待造物主的光照。当你试着用理性描述感受时，思想是必要推到一个卑微的位置上，才能尽可能准确的感知。而当你用感受体验理性的价值时，理性会顿时变得高贵，而真切感却似乎逐渐被消失。思想的价值是用来面向虚无深渊深远的探求。我猜这是人类独有的特质，是伴随着反省才能完成。Suffering, morality, reflection, written by Chen Jiang, the Gate Church. The style is the man himself. Human cognition is like a mirror. Where the inner temperament of an individual and the acquired knowledge environment shape its unique curvature, this mirror is constantly honed and molded by time. The distorted reflection in this mirror is the world of our perceptions, which guides the respective life trajectories of each individual. Tolstoy said, "No matter how great a writer is, he can only write about a part of life." Buffon said. Style is in the man himself. Can the distorted image bring about reflection? The twisted world that is presented in everyone's heart and before their eyes is a proof of the distortion of their own humanity and cognition. Only those who recognize and acknowledge the twisted soul within their own being have the opportunity to seek and understand the truth. Truth is the light. That illuminates the world. It doesn't care about the distortions within. It shines completely, with no shadows to hide. Those who understand the truth are the ones who reflect this light through their lives. Robots, the radiant light of reason, praised by pure rationalists, upheld by the era, is often used to comfort troubled souls from a superior position. And through the miracles created by absolute reason, the greatest aspiration of humanity is to possess an independent spiritual world. However, in the end, it's always shattered by time. Time is a one-way street that connects life and death, but it's also a reverse path for those who transcend death. There's a power struggle between two worlds. On one side. There is an effort to shape humans into machines, while on the other side, there is an attempt to imbue machines with humanity. This is a paradox where living beings are molded into the likeness of the dead, and the dead are fashioned into the semblance of the living. It's the aim of the ruler of the dark world. What keeps humans alive is their spirit. It's the very essence that resides within temporarily living beings. Those who lack this essence are powerless, akin to walking corpses. For all individuals living within the slices of time and space will eventually lose it. Morality, conscience is the breath that awakens life, the trigger of morality, but it's often extinguished by evil. The law is the baseline of morality. Breaking below it signifies eternal death, while reaching upward allows one to touch eternal life. Morality is not a mere accumulation of moral actions. It cannot be deliberately shaped. It's the pattern in which life grows: the amniotic fluid from the womb, the rebirth in suffering. A law without a moral foundation is a mere illusion, devoid of value if it does not aim to pursue morality beyond the confines of the law. Morality is the eternal shadow cast upon human life, a tribute from the tangible world to the intangible realm beyond. Suffering, the world of evil, is a bull ring, granted by the Creator for humans to establish for themselves. Suffering is a path to transcend evil, a prelude to entering into rest.
the soul struggles and traverses within the flesh of the suffering, using death as a leap over the boundaries of evil. Suffering is the classroom of life, the teacher's whip for the soul, until it becomes the prison for those who resist discipline, the gallows for the fallen. Through suffering, the disciplinarian places the ruler before everyone, allowing them to see the scale of the Creator in fear, reflecting upon the supreme order that already exists within their hearts. Suffering is also the warehouse for the introspective, the altar for the devout, the wings of the eagle that lift life towards eternal entropy. The thoughts of the introspective, there's no thought deeper than introspection. Any other depth is only relative to shallowness, but in the face of shallowness, the depth itself becomes meaningless. When faced with the same profundity, the notion of depth becomes irrelevant. The yearning for depth is merely an attempt by thinkers to free themselves from their own shallowness. Without introspection, no matter how profound the thought may seem, it's still shallow. It's due to shallowness that humans increasingly appreciate depth. For only through depth can the value of shallowness be truly understood. However, it's not the end point. It's merely a stopover in the realm of thoughts that will help us advance further into the depth. No one carries their own radiance. We are merely mirrors reflecting the world, awaiting the illumination of the Creator's light. When you attempt to describe feelings with reason, thoughts must humble themselves to perceive as accurately as possible. But when you experience the value of reason through sensory perception, reason suddenly becomes noble while genuine emotions seem to gradually fade away. The value of thoughts lies in their profound quest towards the abyss of nothingness. I believe this is a unique trait of humanity, one that can only be fulfilled through introspection.